Welcome to our comparison video of corded versus cordless lawn mower. Lots of people are making the switch to electric mowers. If you're thinking about getting an electric model, you may have noticed that there are two types, corded and cordless. What about each one and which is better for you? In this video, we are going to tell about the differences between corded and cordless lawn mower. So, let's get started. A corded mower is going to plug directly into an outlet. You'll want to be sure that you have accessible outdoor outlets or a way to string an extension cord from outside. Corded mowers are more reliably powered, weigh less, and cost less than their cordless counterparts. A cordless mower avoids many of the difficulties of corded mowers. Cordless mowers use a battery to stay powered as you buzz across the yard. There are a wide range of batteries and a few important things to pay attention to. Mower batteries typically come in 40 to 80 volt ratings, with some being slightly more or less. The higher the voltage, the higher the power. Battery runtime is determined by amp hours. The higher the amp hours, the longer the mower will run off a single charge. Runtime Corded mowers are powered from an electric outlet through an extension cord, so they have unlimited runtime. The runtime of a cordless electric mower is limited by its battery capacity. Cordless mowers typically run for 60 to 90 minutes, after which you have to recharge them overnight. Cordless mowers are best suited to smaller lawns that can be mowed in less than an hour. Corded mowers are limited to a distance of 100 feet from an electric outlet. If you try to run a corded mower on an extension cord longer than 100 feet, the voltage drop from electrical resistance within the cord will reduce the power available to the motor, causing it to overheat and slow down to where it can no longer cut the grass. Cordless mowers have no distance limit. You can use them anywhere on your lawn as long as the battery is charged. The major difference in maintenance between corded and cordless models is that you must remember to charge your cordless mower's battery after each mowing session. Also, after five to seven years, the batteries in a cordless mower will cease to hold a charge and must be replaced. Both types of electric mower will need to have their blades sharpened or replaced. Corded electric mowers typically cost less than cordless models because the corded model doesn't require an expensive battery. For example, a corded 2013 model 19-inch electric mower from a major outdoor equipment manufacturer costs around $270. A 19-inch cordless model with similar features from the same manufacturer costs $479, or 45% more than the corded model. A cordless mower is best for most people as the average size yard in the United States is about 1-4 an acre. Lawn size is the most significant factor in determining which mower to get, but it isn't the only factor. However, if you find yourself with a yard much smaller that doesn't stretch more than 100 feet past the house, a corded mower might work best for you. Corded and cordless each have their own distinct advantages. Corded mowers are ideal for smaller yards because of their continuous power supply and lighter weight, but get held back by the need to be tethered to an outlet. Cordless mowers work best at medium-sized yards because they can move further away from the house and can easily maneuver around obstacles. Gas mowers may be the only option for larger yards as they can go for longer on a single tank. However, gas mowers are loud polluters that require far more maintenance. 